But amp is embalming fluid, which you put in dead people. Exactly. So if you want to be dead, then you take amp. It's embalming fluid. They dip the regular cigarettes in it, and then they smoke it after it dries. We went to the University of Texas Health Science Center to get some answers about embalming fluid, which is mostly formaldehyde. These experts are analyzing formaldehyde as a known carcinogen in lab animals. The toxicology experts have been experimenting with the highly toxic and flammable substance because it is suspected of causing health problems for humans when it is used in building materials. There are just so many cases of formaldehyde hypersensitivity. In fact, there are lawsuits pending from people who claim they have gotten cancer from formaldehyde that has been used in construction. These experts are very surprised by what we found out about AMP, or Fry, or Dip, or Wet Daddy, or even Sherm, short for Sherman Tank, street names for this unholy use of embalming fluid. And to, to go around smoking this stuff, you know, to your, do this to yourself, it just like, why, why would you go on shooting yourself in the foot? When people are trying to stay away from this, why are you sm deliberately smoking it? It is, uh, it is a known health hazard. Donald is a recovering drug abuser who says he smoked AMP about eight years ago. But it was driven off the streets for a time by crack. This is not a new drug. No, it? it's not a new drug. It's something that died off off the streets about seven or eight years ago, but as to my understanding, now it's coming back and it makes it more severe. You see, you got an epidemic out on the streets now with crack. Now you got this uh, amp coming back on the scene. You got a double deadly thing here now in the streets of Houston. I wouldn't advise nobody to smoke it. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's, it's a miracle that I came down and I'm still alive. Where'd you get it? Well, I got it from Where'd you get it? He was a friend of mine. He, me, he, me and him and my brother, had, he had it. You know. How did he get it? How did he get it? I don't have I have no idea. Just came by and he had some. And, and he was selling it to And me and him and my brother tried it. You know, I was so high at first, I think we smoked about nine squares. I almost pushed him out the car on the freeway. Because to me, he looked like a devil. You come across him naked in the street? Mm-hmm. How many times? Not three or four times. Some of the EMS technicians, the medics we've talked to, say that uh, people take off their clothes and run down the street. Oh, yes. There are cases where people have just, hey, uh, in a case I have seen a guy that had came out of his house going to work with not a stitch of clothes on, with his briefcase in his hand. He come down out the high and he discovered he's still sitting in the car with no clothes on at all. You had a 911 call to a man down. When we got there, he was laying on the ground, just kind of going spastic. He looked like he was having seizures or something. Is it scary to you, as an officer, these guys on amp? Oh, real scary. Um, anything could have happened. He didn't know where he was at. He didn't know what he was doing. He was just totally out of it. And, and most people have some, some sense of the consequences of what they do, but he doesn't. So anything is liable to happen with that man. Anybody what if he'd had a gun? Thing? If he'd had a gun, he would have shot at anybody. He didn't know anybody. I don't think he would even known that he was shooting. He would have just been shooting at anything moving. He wouldn't. He wouldn't care. There's no consequences. So like if you like if you smoke an M square, you might want to take a gun and just shoot up the whole club. That's what it does. It, it's a lick of courage. Crack is bad. And. I guess the heroin and all that is bad too, but it seems like those people still have at least some idea of where they're at. This kid on AMP, he didn't have no idea. He was he was gone. He wasn't on this planet anymore. And AMP is technically legal. Well, <laughs> I think that any drug that you abuse, it's illegal to, to abuse anything. Even if it's even if it's simple as as painkillers prescribed to you, if you if you do that and you don't follow your prescription. That's an illegal act. You're abusing a substance. And in fact, filing charges of public intoxication against AMP smokers is the only way police can take action. AMP pushers cannot be arrested for distribution because formaldehyde is not on the controlled substances list or even the dangerous drugs list because it is not even meant for human consumption. It's not illegal. 
So HP Narcotics can't arrest someone for dealing it. Where do you think this stuff is coming from? Me, myself, personally, Gangsta Nip thinks the stuff is coming from <laughs> known sources. This is what we're trying to say. The bottom line. If the government want to stop crack, they can stop crack. If they want to start crack, they can start crack. If they want to make amp, they can make amp. Government don't have to exactly have their hands in it. They can get the other scientists, other people to do it. I know they're getting it from <laughs> They're getting it from somewhere? Where are they getting from, you know? I don't know funeral home or this. They um, try to get it from funeral directors, you know. But... Irma Allen is a professional embalmer. She prepares bodies for funerals and burials. She says those who smoke this carcinogenic substance are headed for an early grave. It's very dangerous, you know. As a matter of fact, it might even cause the brain to shrink. My opinion is on that. We get, we get high off each other and, and knowledge itself and, exactly. and, and building our kingdom of God. That's all we worry about. And amp and all of that, we let that, we let that go to the side. Those who want to experience a perish. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it does. It fries you. My song is for the good to scare my brothers, to scare my brothers and sisters into getting off the amp. Me personally, I would never, ever touch the stuff. She got mad and hit me in the chin, so I stabbed her in the neck with a 20-foot six pin. For City Under Siege, I'm Scott.